Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Coins Probability Template which is a smart notebook template designed to help you create questions on probability for your students using images of an Australian 20 cent piece. You can download the template here and when you have downloaded the template it'll look like this. As you can see it's a simple template with only two slides. The first slide is somewhere where you can click a few times and start typing in your heading and then click a few times and type in an introduction or instructions. The second slide is where you'll actually put your question. Now you'll probably want to make a few questions so it's best to start by cloning this page. Okay. We just right click on it and choose clone page or control D okay and basically that'll make a, a blank copy of your your page or a copy of your page so whenever you want to add a new question just clone the page so you've got a blank copy at the bottom and it, that'll that'll make it easier to in, insert your next question all right so we'll go to question slide two sorry and type in a very simple question okay and what you can do is you can move these down onto your uh, slide and you know one way of doing it is maybe having the uh, favorable outcomes on top oh, that's actually the the favorable outcome is the heads okay and your total uh, outcomes on the bottom so you might have and there you can say to the students right we've got heads out that's our favorable outcome out of a total of two possible outcomes okay and of course that's your answer one over two so that's why those lines are set up there ready for you to type and you can type your answer as a sentence form as well okay and there you go your questions finished and you can move your screen shade up to cover all of that and discuss it with your class and then reveal the answer when you're ready okay um, might put in a one which is slightly more complicated um, so we'll clone this slide again clone slide three so we've got a blank down slide four there and slide three we're ready to type in our question so this one we've got a, a few more options so what we might do is we might even have to resize these a little bit and I'll show you how to do that just click on uh, the head to resize it okay and the tail to make it a bit smaller so that's our first throw we could have a head or a tail and then the second throw could be again oh, actually another way to do it is just clone these head or a tail and then we can simply clone these again move them down here okay so as you can see we've got four possible outcomes and what we can also do here is move this red line down into place and we can keep cloning that okay to show our actually I can move it over this way so it's not covering the heads or tails That we've got four uh, total outcomes and we might even use our 
highlighter tool to say right uh, two heads there's our one favorable outcome okay or you could you know circle it whatever way you like okay and then again type in the answer here And you're done. Again, move your screenshot up to, to cover it. 